Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Overcrowd, a commute em up. Yes, that is the name of the game. This is a management game about subways or metro networks or something like that. It's made by two people and it looks like Habbo Hotel, which is pretty much the entire reason I bought it like a month or two ago. What do we need to do? Brixton Road, commuter rate. Oh my God, there's a lot of things popping up. Hello. Day one, the basics, right? Yes, to do, build floor from pavement to station. Use edit floor to extend floor from the pavement between the lamp posts to the rest of the station. Right. Yes, that'll be the control in the bottom left, I'm guessing. Left click and drag from an existing floor tile, yes. So from there, like that, I'm guessing. Nice. Okay, wait, no, I don't. Is it supposed to be in a building? I think it might. Okay. Infrastructure. Entrance. How do I ro <laughs> How do I rotate? Uh, rotate with right click. Okay. So does this go here? Nice. Okay. I'm good at this. Right. So the to-do list is done. How do I... Right. After you've built something, press tab to exit build mode. I cannot interact with anything else when I'm still in build mode. Press tab now. Okay. Oh my god. Hello. This is full on, isn't it? You also need to configure the platform so commuters know which side of the track to board and alight from. I hate the word alight. Right click to set the train doors to open on the left, right, or both sides of the platform. Commuters won't use the side with the crosshatch floor. Wait, what? What? How does... How, ooh, hello. Oh, they want... Okay, so I probably want them to use that side, right? With the stairs? That, that makes sense. You must also configure the signs above the stairs to show commuters where to go. Right-click on each staircase to assign a destination and direction. Set one to point down to platform one and one to point up to the way out. To do, configure stairs. Right-click on each staircase. Oh, my God. Um, so we're in Lubden, which I assume is the UK. So we're going to say this one goes uh, to the exit and this one goes to the platform. Nice. That'll, that'll work out. Configure the turnstiles. So I'm assuming similar idea, right? So you go to the exit and you go to the platform. Nice. I'm getting good at this. Once the signs for the stairs, the platforms have been configured, right click on the entrance and click open station to open your station to the public. You know, what this is giving me a, a, a it looks like Habbo Hotel. I stand by that, but it, for some reason, I'm getting um, theme hospital vibes from the whole, like, click the doors to open your your thing. Um, let's open it. It actually, yeah, it really does look like Habbo Hotel. I, I don't mean that insultingly. It just genuinely looks like Habbo Hotel, and I'm so okay with that. Uh, a commuter has arrived. Your station earns reputation by keeping them happy. Uh, positive reputation. Okay, I was reading that. Can I pause? You need to hire staff to run your station. All the admin buttons are yellow on the lower right of the screen, which they are. All the build buttons are blue on the lower left, which they are. Click the yellow staff admin button to hire somebody. We get Josh Stewart, 506 pounds. Okay, we'll hire you. Uh, what do we need to do now? Um, so there are currently no staff applications. That's fine. You've hired your first member of staff. Let's get them to refuel the generators. Okay. Open the job prior. Okay, now this looks like RimWorld. This looks like RimWorld. I'm quite okay with this. Uh, set refuel generators job to priority one. Okay. Staff will look for any job priorities they can do inside a patrol radius around their home flag. You can place a home flag by selecting staff and deploying them somewhere. The patrol radius is defined by their perception attribute. You can also use the portrait or number of keys or number keys to select staff. Double tap to center view on staff. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's, that's kind of a cool idea that their level, I guess, determines how good they are at like running. This is RimWorld, but the London Underground or Lubden Underground, I should say. That's kind of a cool idea. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Oh, look at him go refueling the generators down here, too. He's doing a great job. He's getting XP for it as well. He's now getting fuel from there. How do I... Can I, like, see your... Oh, my God. So, you're deployed... Oh, your deployment flag's there. So, if I was to put your deployment flag um, 
there. Does that now mean that... So you're going to your... Who's... Wait, choking. Choking? What? Why did I see the thing? Why did... Okay, that was a bit worrying. Um, okay. So this guy's now deployed there, which means he's got really good coverage over, like, everything. That's kind of cool. All right. So people are buying tickets. They're going through the turnstiles. They're going down to the platform. This is neat, man. I like this. I like this a lot. Now that you have power, you should call a train. Making commuters wait causes you to lose reputation. Left click on the track to call a train. Okay. Later on, you can automate this or bind it to a key using signal relays and automators. Wait, I can... Oh. So I have to, like, manually call trains until I can automate it? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, shifting commuters, commuters boarding trains slash leaving, earns you bonds from City Hall. You can spend these to hire staff or procure more tech. I'm going to put this in, like, the middle of the screen. Uh, let's try it out. Use some bonds to unlock the litter picker tool. Uh, your staff will need this to manage refuse. Click on the yellow procurement button, select the tools, tabs, and unlock the level one litter, uh, litter picker. Okay, so procurement, tools, litter picker, procure. Very fancy. Uh, now you can buy a litter picker and rack. Use the tools button and build it in the tool room, which I think is this room. Yeah, that's a tool room. All right, so level one litter picker. Can I, so I can put it like there which is fine. And now what do I do? So I've, I've placed it. Give your staff a new job priority to use the litter picker using the jobs priorities tab in the staff window. You can give different jobs. I need to keep remembering to put these in the middle of the screen. You can give different jobs higher or lower priorities. Now they will pick up any litter in their patrol radius, as well as empty full concourse bins into bigger wheelie bins. Removing a job priority will cause the staff to unequip a tool so other staff can use it. Okay, so if we go to jobs and we go here, so I can manage these priorities, and I like this. It is just like RimWorld. Uh, the tool meter fills up with green as staff try to use a tool. Skill level and tool quality affects their chance and speed of completing a task successfully. Stamina affects the time it takes staff to recover between tasks. The gray tool icon fills with uh, color while they're recovering. Oh boy, staff get tired and hungry. Turn on automatic rest, auto rest, by clicking the toggle in the staff schedules window. They will go to the blue staff room. Okay. <laughs> this is, there's a lot going on here. Use the thermal imaging camera to review temperature. Oh boy. Try it out now. Click. Oh my God. There's so much information, man. There's so much information. Um, I've nearly finished the first tutorial. You complete challenges by shifting commuters. Keep calling trains until I've shifted 20. I can procure another train carriage by spending bonds in procurement. Select the infrastructure tab to do so. Okay, so procurement, infrastructure, another train, procure, close, turn that off, and then we've got my to-do list. All right. Um, let's call a train, I guess. We've got a second carriage. We've got people, you know lining up to to get on board that's that's i think they're lining up to get on board we got people getting off which is neat so that's something uh is this is this full capacity 100 oh hello did we do it that was that was whelming i guess <laughs> that's fine i just it was very sudden that we managed to do that but okay uh back to the map i guess so day two is about building in zone four. Learn how to build a station from scratch and then run it for a time. Okay, that, that's, that's a bit more my speed, right? Building a station from scratch? I can do that. Welcome to day two of your training. Your task today is to build a functioning station from scratch. Remember to check your goals list so you know what to do next. Experiment with the view buttons which is the magnifying glass in the very top right, to toggle off earth and sea tracks underground. You need to build an entrance. They can only be built at pavements around the map perimeter. Start by connecting with the edit floor button. So we know how to do this. We've done it before. So we build an entrance, right? 
And then we need to go to infrastructure and we need to build an actual entrance, which we now have, which is great. So that's fine. Uh, tracks must be built in a fixed location so they join up with other stations in the network. You can see where by looking for tunnels in the edge of the map and track blueprints. So we have the Elizabeth line down here. Use sculpt floor to excavate some existing concourse down a level. So sculpt floor, hover over the floor cell. So do I have to click and drag and then wait, what? Click, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking and what am I? I'm clicking and dragging. Click, drag, and release. It's what I'm doing. Left mouse, raise floor. Right mouse. Oh. I'm smart. Um, let's lower that entire section. That seems like a good idea. Once you've excavated, you can see the track blueprint. Extend the floor with edit floor so that it surrounds the track blueprint. Right. So now this needs to go out like... I'm going to say like that, right? It only needs to be on one side of the of the track i guess probably can i can i like get rid of some track yeah i want a corridor i think a corridor is going to be kind of cool so the track needs at least one cell either side they also have to be long enough to fit at least one carriage oh okay well let's um let's do that i guess we'll just do like a big sort of chungus section right there and that'll be okay so now that we've done that i need to select platform which is this guy and do that i've built a train station that's kind of cool once built you can extend or reduce track lanes by clicking and dragging the tunnels meh you cannot build tracks or floor above or below other tracks or floor there's always a way to use bridges stairs and different floor heights to design routes to every platform okay so now I need to do everything else on the to-do list. I need to build four power generators. I need to build a ticket machine. I need stairs. So, staircase, right? So we're gonna need a few of these. So right mouse to rotate. Let's do, I'm gonna do one there and I'm gonna do one there. Because here's my thinking. If I go to edit floor and I say, give me a, like some space over here, I can put some staff rooms over. Oh, I can't do staff rooms back there, but I can sort of do some like staff space in there. I would imagine probably, probably, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's actually a thing. Uh, lighting. So lighting is, is totally a thing as well. So let's do a light, uh, there and let's do a light there. And then on the platform, we can kind of get away with one there. And we can kind of get away with one there. And that should be fine. So that's going to be enough lighting. What I mean, I need power. How do I? So utilities. Generator. Must be built in a utility room. Facilities. Lighting. How do I do rooms? Infrastructure. Tool room. Utility room. Okay. So I'm thinking utility room can be that size, right? And then the tool room can kind of be here. With it. Oh, you play. Oh, okay. So the door goes there. Utility room goes there. And I need four power generators. So the power generators are these guys, which I can go and do one, two, three, four. Try selling one of your generators using the sell button at the bottom right. The more an item has been used, the less money that you'll get for it. I'm not selling a generator right now. Get out of here. I know I can do that, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. I don't need to. Um, we'll put the barrel back there, I guess, and that'll be fine. Now we need ticket machines. So facilities, turnstiles, ticket machine, right? So these things, I mean, they're pretty chunky, aren't they? Can I get like three of them there? That seems like a pretty good idea. Then two turnstiles is kind of going to be a thing. Um, I don't know if it matters what direction these are facing necessarily it would probably be nice if they were sort of facing the the stairs to be totally honest but i don't know if we're going to get that luxury so let's do let's do a turn style there and there 
right? And then let me go to floors. Let me get rid of that bit of floor. I don't know if I can get rid of that bit of floor, actually. I don't think it's going to let me. No, I don't think it is going to let me. So that looks kind of dumb. I, can I get rid of that bit? No. That's a bit of a shit. I don't like, I don't like my turnstiles being there. I don't, I don't, I don't know. They need to move. It's a bit nasty looking, isn't it? Oh, so it turns out I can build little fences up here, which actually looks kind of cool. I'm wondering, can I do, so I can't build on top of this, unfortunately. And I think just in general, I can't make this look any nicer than it currently is, which is also kind of unfortunate. I'd like more turnstiles though. I think this looks terrible. I really do. It just looks awful, but I just, I don't think we have that choice. So we're just going to leave it relatively basic. And at the minute I'm just being told to open my station. So, I mean, it's also telling me to sell a power generator. So I guess I will, because it is an optional objective. There we go. So I guess we open the station at this point, but it's also wanting me to open my report to assess power usage and reputation. So I don't, I don't know what my report is. Is that my report? I don't, what is, open your report. What's, what's my report? I, I have, is it, is it up here? So staff portraits, commerce, uh, those are just heat maps. I, I don't, I don't know what my report is. Let's just open the thing. Let's just, I didn't, no, I didn't, okay. That's not, not quite what I wanted, I'm going to be honest. Just open, open the bloody station, all right? I need staff as well, though. I may have forgotten to get staff. So Josh, congratulations. You're hired again, bud. I kind of need you to base yourself probably down here more so than anything else. So you can, you can kind of live there is what you can do. And you can go and refuel things, but I need to go to staff and I need to go to, uh, refueling, which I can't tell you to do. Why can't you do that? You've built and opened your first station. There's still plenty to do. Check your goals list. And remember, I can pause the game at any time. I, I know. I know I can do that. So, hold on a minute. Call a train. I can, I, so, I can call a train. But there's no point. Wait, no. People can get through here. Oh, nice. Okay. So, we'll call a train. I still don't know how to open my report. But that's... Wait, no, there it is. Nice. Okay, so power. Power drain is... That's a bit rough to read. Uh, okay. We're generating enough, so we're all right there, I guess. It's really gloomy in my station. They get upset when it's dark. Build some lights. I have lights, though. What are you talking about? I've got lights. What is this? I don't... I don't know how to feel about this. Um, let's put a... A, a jerry can in there. And let's also get a litter picker so that we can kind of do everything. Because then I think I can give you a job, right? So staff, refuel, and pick litter. That's that's going to be kind of important. We're also going to need... Let's pause for a second because this, this is getting a little bit carried away. Um, we also need a bin, right? So like a basic level, just we can do a bin sort of in that corner. We can do a bin sort of um, there. And we can do one sort of there as well and that should cover everything can we do so what's a wheelie bin a wheelie bin so that staff can empty concourses into them okay so that would go in the utility room so that's fair enough uh in terms of tools we have everything in terms of commerce we need to procure that so that's fine it does want me to spend three bonds to unlock another carriage and it also wants me to move 25 commuters now here's the thing I have 10 bonds available, so I, I can do that, right? But in terms of facilities, we can't do tools. We can get a megaphone, commerce. Okay, so let's let's get a megaphone, which, sure, let's, let's, let's procure that. It doesn't tell me that I need to do it, but I want it, so we're going to get it, uh, and we'll put it in there, which means you, fella, can I get more, can I get more staff? No. I can have you use the megaphone as a priority as well. So let's let the game run and see what you're doing. So you're getting the litter picker, which is fine. Uh, we have quite a few people waiting down here. So we'll call the train like as soon as we can, which is right now. And everybody can kind of do their thing, I guess. 
So that's cool. Now he's going to go use the megaphone and yell at people. All right. Fair enough, bud. I guess that's that's okay. How many commuters have I moved? Where can I, is that it there at the top? Commuters shifted 16. Okay. This is kind of cool, man. I, I'm kind of digging this. It's a bit of a weird game. It's it's it looks like Habo Hotel, but there's like a cool management game in here, I think. It's it's maybe a little casual, but it's it's kind of cool. I feel like it'll really shine when I get out of the tutorial and I can do more things. Right now it feels a little bit like I, I feel like my hands being held and that's kind of the point. Um it's just yeah, I I it's it's just kind of cool. And we've also managed to complete this station as well so that's fine congratulations you finished the tutorial okay try the network sandbox now you can remap your controls and customize controls that's fine wait a minute there's a commute of the day can you build a five track station in this daily procedural challenge w this game has daily challenge i've just got addicted to mini motorways with its daily challenges. Don't do this to me. This is, this, this is, oh my God. So the network sandbox, I mean, I, I guess we'll just call this like, let's play. This is, this is how you set it up. We can randomize the seed. Network size is the number of connected stations. We'll have terrain, normal difficulty. I'm going to turn lose conditions off. Procurement tree gated, sure. Scenarios sure and sure so is this is this basically like oh my god oh i see how this works so basically wow okay so essentially i have to build and manage this entire network that's that's kind of neat and i can rename these as well so I mean, I, 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 this video is going to be weird, man, because we've done the tutorial. I, I guess I'll start this and we'll see what like an actual game of this is going to be about because the tutorial I feel is like just scratching the surface. And I want to see if this is the kind of thing that I would want to play um, more on the channel as well. I want to see if it's the kind of thing you guys would be interested in on the channel too. So I need an entrance and a track. So let's bring this... I don't know if I want to bring it over the track, though. Because, again, the tracks are at surface level. So if I was to, like, hold on. Edit floor. Let's bring this, like, right over to there. Let's bring this right down to there. Can I then sculpt the floor to lower beneath that track like is that a is that a thing i can can i even can i wrote oh my god i can rotate the camera that's that's trippy um so that's odd that is really odd i don't know how i feel about that uh let's bring that floor out here as well and let's sort of do the same thing there so those are the same length let's do the same thing here so those are the same length I might not want to do that, but I'm I'm gonna do it. And then I need like stairs, right? So can I build a platform there? I can. But the train, oh, it can't go out there, can it? Or can it? I don't know. I actually don't know. Can I build another platform? Wait, do I only have one? Oh no. Sell that platform. I want that back. I want that. I want that back. Uh, we'll build. No space for platforms on both sides of the track. What? Oh, there's not. Okay. I, I guess. So what we'll do is this, right? We'll just keep it relatively simple for now because that seems like the right thing to do. We'll also have people get on the trains from that side because that also seems like the right thing to do. We're going to need an entrance, which needs to go there. So we're going to have that. We're going to need a tool room, a utility room, staff rooms, control rooms. We're going to need turnstiles and ticket machines. So let's do, I guess, a couple of ticket machines there. Seems like a, we'll do, we'll do three ticket machines. 
Then we'll get two sets of turnstiles. And we'll go and do one and I can't do there. So it needs to, it needs to be more like that. Okay. So that's, that's fine. Can I move this? No. So I'm going to have to sell it, which is all right by me. So we need a turnstile there. Then we go to infrastructure. We go to fence and I basically want to do that with it. So the people have to like, well, you know what? We'll do the fences like this. We'll, we'll do it like that and that'll be okay. And then I guess we could do like a room back there as well. We could do a couple of rooms back there. So let's do facilities or utilities or whatever one we're looking for. I'm not quite sure which one. Um, where do I get the rooms again? I've completely forgotten. Tool room. Right. So tool room can go there. The door, unfortunately, can't go right at that corner, though. Which is a little annoying. So if I edit that floor and then I go and say, give me a tool room. I, I think I can do like a little, we'll do like a little one like that. Then we'll do a utility room. And then we're gonna need like staff rooms and things like that as well. So I think a staff room could go sort of down here. And I think that'll be okay. It can be a little bit of a bigger room with the door sort of at the back. And then the control room which is where I can put signal relays and I can call trains with a key press or automatically. I feel like the control room needs to go like here. I feel like that makes sense. But is that, is it not going to let me do that? You cannot build it on objects. I mean, I guess that makes sense. A little weird that it's doing it that way, but okay. So that's, that's going to be our control room. And then this is our platform and that's fine. I don't know what else goes in here, but whatever. Uh, that's, that's okay. Let's get a, a bin right there and a bin right there. And we'll get a bin sort of over there as well. And that should be okay. So now we have all that. We are going to need utilities. So we need generators, which need to go in the utility room. So we'll do, we'll do two generators. And we'll do one fuel barrel next to them, which can't be built on top of other objects. So it's going to be there. In terms of tools, we have nothing. In terms of infrastructure, we're okay. In terms of commerce, we have nothing. Amenities, we have nothing. So that is about everything for right now. Those rooms actually probably could have been saved until later, but that's okay. Let's go to staff. There's, we need to open the station to hire staff. Oh, Okay, that's that's fair enough. Um, what do I need to do? Oh, I need the directional signage. Right. So that's going to be to the platform. That's going to be the way out. And then that's going to open. And now we need staff. We also have goals on a to-do list here, which is something for sure. So build an entrance and hit the footfall target for them. Okay. And then we have a bunch of optional stuff as well. So that's fine. Staff. Let's get, um, hmm. You have very good perception. I'm going to hire you, even though you are kind of more expensive. And I'm going to say that this guy is going to kind of go right there. And that'll give him coverage over everything. So that'll be great. In terms of procurement, we have two bonds available, which is fine. So we could get some plants. We could get a capacitor. A commuter can't buy what they want in my station. Well, too bad, bud. We can get you a newspaper stand. We can get you a water cooler, which is more for uh, staff anyway. And let's, so let's get an uncomfy chair. But staff can use this. I don't really want it for staff, though. That's not really what I'm looking for. Um, a litter picker is probably not a bad idea. So let's grab that for a single bond. A jerry can is going to let them refuel generators. I feel like that might be needed as well at some point, but we'll we'll skip on it. A wheelie bin is going to be needed too because that's where all of the litter goes. So this thing goes in the tools room and then the wheelie bin goes in the utilities room. And then we can go to our member of staff, wherever the hell I put him. And we can say that you are going to pick up litter. And that should be okay. So that's good. Let's go ahead and call a train. And 
We have four people getting off, which is fine. And then we'll have, hopefully, some people getting on the train as well, and that'll be fine. A commuter has become overcrowded in your station. Overcrowding makes them angry or diseased? Or diseased? Right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, that's, that's a thing. Uh, we have four bonds right now, I think, don't we? Yeah, we do. A signal relay. Map platforms to a numeric key press or uh, to make calling trains easier. That sounds like it'd be really useful. I do want that. And then we could get a PA for safety. I feel like they want they want a newspaper stand, right? So let's get them a newspaper stand. And then we could also take out an ad. Adverts pay out cash when they have been viewed enough times. They also increase buying behavior for specific shops. Absolutely. So if I go to commerce, I can put a newspaper stand in here and I can put it, I don't know, by the bin or something. I can put it here. I can put it, and I'll do two of them. We'll do, we'll do, oh, we can just have, we'll do two. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do two newspaper stands. Then a newspaper ad, we can do, you know, there is probably a really good place for it. Uh, there, and we can do one there. So that'll be fine. We got some ads. We got some newspapers. This guy's complaining that there's no plant in here. Of all the things to complain about, fair enough. But, they're buying newspapers. That's making me a bit more money. So, I'm not really going to complain about it. And hopefully soon enough, we'll have another train coming in. Although we are probably really going to want to get ourselves another carriage, which needs... Well, we need one more bond to do that. So, let's go ahead and call that in. Now, didn't we get the... Yeah, we did get the signal relay. So, what do I do with this? Where does this go? It must go in a control room. Right. So, that goes there. It needs to be connected to a train track, which it now is. I don't know how it works beyond that, though. Or do I click it? Ooh. So, does that automatically call? I, I don't know what that does. Make calling trains a cinch with this fantastic bit of kit that maps your F keys to calling trains in the connected platform. So, I don't know how that works. Is that, is that like F1, I guess? I, I really have, I really have no idea. Um, I assume it is, but sure. Uh, the good news is we can get another carriage, so we're gonna do that. And we can also get staff only zones. We can get a foot bridge, which honestly, probably really useful. We can get that plant that people were talking about. We can get more lighting. We can get uncomfy benches. How much for the plant? It's two bonds, but I'm, I'm going to get the plant. We're getting we're getting the plant because people wanted the plant. So let's do a nice plant, I guess. We'll do it sort of by the bin to cheer them up a little bit. This really is like theme hospital, right? It's, you know, putting the plants and all that stuff in to cheer everybody up. It's it's just like theme hospital in uh, in that particular regard. So we'll do a plant there too. And that should be fine. So everybody's going to be cheered up by that. Someone's late, but that's fine. We've got... How do I... How do I call a train? Oh my god, that's my, that's my staff. How do I... There's a train... Oh, there it is. Okay, so eight people are getting off that train, which is great. <laughs> Can I speed the game up a little bit? There we go. So eight people are getting off, and we have eight boarding? We do. Okay. So that's fine. We've got a decent number of bonds as well. <laughs> so back to procurement. Uh, utilities. Tools. I feel, so what is the toolkit for? Uh, repair damaged objects. I feel like the jerry can is something I kind of want. The watering can is going to be needed for the plants. We're probably going to... We don't need the megaphone. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else we need. Atmosphere. Cool down commuter slightly with that fan. That's an alarm that I can activate to get people out. Commerce. Is there anything else I can do in there? No. Amenities. So that's for staff. That's, that's fine. I think we kind of need lighting. Right? We probably need benches. And... Sure. 
I guess. Wait, Christmas trees, Christmas presents, Santa's grotto, what? I don't even know. I'm assuming that stuff that comes up, you know, when it is the season, I guess. Um, let's get uncomfy benches in here. Cause that's, this really is like theme hospital. Good Lord. It really is. Um, so let's do, I, I don't know. I don't even really know where to put these. Um, let's do some benches sort of down here, right? So we'll do some benches there. We can do some benches kind of in there. And that'll just let everybody have somewhere to sit down, even if they are miserable as they're uh, sitting down, right? So that'll that'll do whatever. I don't I don't know what the main footfall target is right now. I'm not gonna lie, because I mean that's the to-do list, right? Build an entrance and hit the footfall target for them. So sure, get a station reputation of 75%. It's 54 right now. I, I have, wait a minute, build minimum, oh, oh, we had to shift 137 commuters and we've moved 45, all right, are we having power problems, I feel like we're having power problems, let me go to staff real quick, and I think I need to place a jerry can, so that would go there, and then I need to set that as a job, right, and I probably want someone else on staff, right, I probably want like, Lily Taylor to come in here and you can I mean your your radius thing is all right so I'm kind of gonna move you a little bit further sort of there I guess maybe a little further along to like there and we'll see how you do so you're gonna go do your job which means I can go to staff and I can say you're mostly gonna do that and then you can be like I don't know second at that I, it doesn't really matter um, that's fine. So you're taking out trash. What are you doing? You're doing nothing right now. Why are you doing nothing right now? I kind of need you to be refueling the place. Or do we not need that done? I guess you also don't have a litter picker because the other guy has it. Do I need two people picking up litter? I guess I probably do. So that's a plant. That's, that's tools right there. So litter picker. We'll do... One right there and, you know, you can go do your thing. That's fine. So now they're both doing that. That'll all get emptied. Uh, the station is closed for the night. This is full on, man. This is, this is kind of full on. Oh, so it turns out you absolutely can move things. You have to click and hold on them and then drag them around, which is fair enough. And then you can just cancel the move if you really want to as well, which is also fair enough. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, let's go back into procurement, though, because we're actually probably going to want to get ourselves, well, we actually already have it, uh, that watering can. Because, as it turns out, the plants are struggling a little bit. So, if we go to staff and we go and say maybe Lily can go and start watering the plants a little bit, that's maybe not such a bad idea. A member of staff is carrying more than one tool. I know about priorities. We're fine. And this guy is, we're going to move his flag to there a little bit, is what we're going to do. And uh, I think what I'm actually going to say is that uh, Lily is not going to do that. And then the other guy is, because I think his range is better and he can get to all of the plants that we have, which is kind of important. So that's fair enough. Uh, we're doing pretty well, I think. We should have another train coming in, which we do. So we'll hopefully have a good number of people moving on that. In terms of, have we just lost power? How's this? Oh, these things are, oh, we really are going to need to look into repairing stuff as well. So hold on a minute. Uh, procurement, tools, toolkit. Yes. Utilities. I don't think we need, oh, signal automator. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely get me one of those. So first off, toolkit. Uh, needs to go there. And then utilities signal automator. We connect you to that. And then that should automatically do good for us. I'm wondering if we really might need another power generator, though. I feel like we might. But at the same time, like, how does this thing work? 
arrival minutes past the hour zero do 10 minutes past the hour i guess carriages i can't do any more than two apparently but that should mean that we have trains coming in automatically right i don't need to call them maybe there we go look at that okay that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that's i i like that i can automate stuff like that and then i can automate more carriages later on too this is this is this is more of a management game than i thought it was gonna be i'm not gonna lie it really is Especially since I haven't even connected another platform right now. And we can also go, I think, and I think we can increase our ticket prices. I think. If I, like, right-click in a turnstile. Ooh, wait, is that broken right now? No, I, I, there is a way to increase the ticket prices. I'm not really sure what it is, but there is a way to do it. We're definitely draining more power than we are uh, generating, which isn't great. But, hold on a second. Staff... I kind of need you to prioritize repairing things over about everything else. That seems like it's going to be really important. So this guy, he's got his, he's got his repair kit. Wait, have we done it? We did it. Not bad. I mean, we didn't, we didn't do everything. So I'm going to absolutely continue, but that's, that's kind of cool. I'm actually, I'm actually really pleased about that. So we've managed to automate things. The station really does need to be bigger and needs more space for uh, utilities and everything else. But man, this is this is neat. I like this. I I really I really do like this. It's um yeah. This is this is pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. Let's get a couple of like a PA system and a fan, so we can go ahead and put. You know, a live PA system there, maybe, I guess, would be a, a place for it. We could kind of put it right in the middle of everything as well. So we'll do a PA system there. Uh, we've got the fan, which I don't really know if it's going to do much for us, but we can sort of throw it, like, down at the end of the platform, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's that's fair enough. So everyone's everyone's leaving. We've got... The next, uh, we got, you know, we got the next morning coming along. So, this is cool. I like this a lot. I, I really, I really do. I, I like this a whole lot. It's, it's a pretty cool game. I don't know if it's something that we'd necessarily play to completion. I don't know. Because here's the thing, right? I can, I can end this station, which is cool. So I can go back to the map and that's great. And then because I've completed that station, I can go to the next one. And I guess the next one actually has crime, which is interesting. It doesn't have a lot of money on, on the people. The disease index is higher. So there's different challenges that will come with it. I might have to build the thing from scratch. I don't really know. So that's pretty cool. That's... I, I don't know. I maybe we could we could play on and and see how far we go with this. I'm kind of gonna leave it up to um, all of you, I guess. If you want to see more of this game, do let me know in the video in the video description in the comments below. And yeah, we'll see how things go. We'll see what we end up doing. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. There will be a link to the game in the video description if you want to check it out yourself. But other than that. That is about going to be it for today's episode, at the very least, of Overcrowd, a commute -em up It also has, like I said earlier, apparently daily challenges, which, if that's more your speed and you'd be more interested in seeing that, then also let me know in the comments below. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for... Thank you very much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.